Hello everyone, this is Sri Harshita. So today I am here to explain the code for uh, interfacing keyboard with Arduino. So this is the code I have written in Arduino IDE app. Now I will simulate this code uh, using Tinkercad online website. So I will start with the components that I have used here. I have used this Arduino Uno board and a keypad of size 4x4. So I have, this is my keypad and this is the Arduino Uno board. And these are the components I have used. And these are very simple connections that I'm going to give here. There are eight pins, four related to the rows, R1, R2, R3, R4, and four pins related to columns, column one, column two, column three, column four. So I have connected all the rows to nine, eight, seven, six pins respectively, and all the column one, column two, column three, column four, four, five, four, three, two pins of Arduino respectively. So before entering into the coding part, there is a prerequisite uh, I need to tell you before uh, simulating the circuit. So there is a, a library we are using here, Keypad, which is not generally installed in all the Arduino apps. You need to manually install it. So there is a procedure uh, which is very simple that I'm going to explain it to you now. So go to sketch, uh, go to include library, and then go to manage library sketch include library and manage library then you'll get a window like this so as you need a key uh, a function of keypad so for adding this library i am searching for keypad now there are uh, there will be many libraries with the uh, name of keypad you need to be very cautious while installing it they are various but here i have used a keypad by mark stanley and alexander brevik uh, when you are, when that library is not installed you will get an option to install here as i already installed it is not highlighted so i am using here keypad by mark stanley alexander brevik so i'll uh, tell you the procedure again so go to sketch include library then manage library and then you'll get a window on top of it you have a search bar for that window there you need to search for the library that you need so here we are using keypad.h so i'm searching for keypad there are many libraries given by many uh, names so i have chosen keypad by Mark Stanley Alexander Brevik. So this version I have used here. So uh, now I can directly use it in my Arduino code. So um, these are the components and connections uh, that I have used here. Now let's go to the coding part. So I have already told you about this um, library. Now I am declaring two constants with rows and columns, four and four. These are constant bytes because uh, this four will never change in the entire uh, code. They are four rows and four columns th th that is fixed. So I am using a constant variable. So now I am declaring a 2D array, two dimensional array with rows and columns named keys. And the data type for this array is character. As we are uh, having four rows and four columns, this is a 4 by 4 uh, 2D matrix with elements 1, 2, 3, plus 4, 5, 6, minus 7, 8, 9, star, adrate 0, hash percentile, which is division. So I have declared a basic uh, calculator numbers, keypad uh, numbers. Now, uh, this ends all our uh, declarations and initializations. Now, byte row pins array of rows column pins arrays of columns so 9 8 7 6 4 5 4 3 2 these numbers i am giving because all the row pins are connected to 9 8 7 6 all the row pins are connected to 9 8 7 6 so i am declaring the output of rows to this pins and output of columns to 5 4 3 2 5 4 3 2 so i am initializing these pins as outputs now i am creating an object of keypad to uh, read and express it or uh, display it on my serial monitor i am using an object keypad which is make key map keys row pins column pins rows and columns so this is the object i have created here now i'll start with void setups uh, code serial begin uh, 966 uh, 9600 baud rate now i am reading the character with a 
function called get key so uh, i am storing this keypad dot get key in the variable key of data type character so whatever character uh, it is getting read here will be stored in the variable key so if key is read if key is not a null uh, character and if key is read we are printing serial print key pressed so for, first initially this will be displayed later serial print ln in the next line key will be displayed that means the value in the place of the variable key will be assigned to this variable key pressed so this is the coding part uh, i'll start the simulation so yes the simulation is done now when i'm pressing one on my keypad key pressed is one because i am assigning one to first place two to second place now i am pressing 3 now i am pressing a here uh, my fourth uh, variable is plus so here uh, in the a place my plus character will be displayed so similarly all my all my characters will be displayed is 4 and then uh, when i press 5 the 5 will be displayed so this is how it works uh, when i press 1 key pressed is 1 and when i press c uh, the character assigned to c is star so when i press 9 the key pressed is 9 so like that all the characters will be displayed when i press d the key pressed will be percentile as you can see uh, the key pressed is percentile so this is uh, how we can display it on serial monitor also we can connect the lcd and see the output the key pressed 3 plus 4 9 on lcd screen also so yeah this is our uh, interfacing key pad with Arduino Uno board thank you